In this KittyVal video, I'll demonstrate how to run the KittyVal program in Clan. You can read about KittyVal in the Clan manual, in the SLP guide to Clan, and in other training materials at the TalkBank, Child's, and Fluency Bank websites. Specifically, in this first video, I'll show how to prepare to analyze a child language sample to determine its language characteristics, including mean length of utterance and numerous other lexical and grammatical measures. I'll use a file that has already been transcribed in chat. I've also run the more command on this file, so it has a percent MOR tier, which is needed for running the KidEval command. It's here in my chat files folder on my desktop. I can double click on it and show you the file. And you see here that we have the percent MOR tier under each of the speaker tiers. If your file does not yet have a percent MOR tier, please review that screencast and then come back to this one. Okay, I'll go up to the clan menu to Windows and select Commands. Now, in the Commands window, I want to make sure that my working directory is set to where the file is that I want to analyze. So I'll click on the working button and navigate to the desktop and my chat files folder. I can double click on it or I can single click and click select folder. So now my working directory is set to the folder where the file is that I want to analyze. Now I go to the programs drop down menu and select KittyVal. Then I'll click the Option button. If I hadn't already set my working directory in the Commands window, I could also navigate to it from here, from this drop-down menu. But I have it already selected, and there's the file I want to analyze. So again, I could double-click on it, or like this, if it's selected already here, I can just click Add, and then Click Done. Now I get some more KittyVal options. If we have already downloaded the KittyVal database, I have the option to either compare the child sample to this database by age and gender or not compare. Currently we should not compare anything other than adult child play with a child under the age of six who speaks a mainstream dialect of English to the database. My example here is a child under six playing with a parent, so that is appropriate. So we will compare to the database, and that's already selected. And I'll also choose this option to compare the child to typically developing free play, and that's already selected. Now I have the ability to choose to compare by gender, male only, female only, or both. I'll go with both, which is also selected. If it weren't, we would just click one of the other options, but we'll leave that. Now because I entered the child's age in my file headers, it will select a six-month age range automatically. But if for some reason I think I should use another comparison, such as a child who I know to be functioning on a much lower language level, I can choose to do this. But for this example, I will use the child's actual comparison cohort. So I press OK. And you see here that the clan command gets written automatically in the command window, so now I can just press run. Please pay attention to this message that clinicians should take comparisons of the child's performance in context. In best practice, all diagnostic decision making should combine such language sample results with other measures obtained from the child. Now I can triple click on this output file line here, the XLS file, to get to the spreadsheet with the results. This XLS file, by the way, will also be in the folder where my transcript is located. By the way, if you work on a PC, you may get an error message when you try to open the CLAN spreadsheet output. Don't worry, just keep clicking yes for the options that appear, then click finish, and you'll wind up opening the spreadsheet in Excel. So I'll triple click here and we get the spreadsheet. Once you open the spreadsheet, 
Be sure to save it with an XLSX extension because Clan creates it as a text file. So I'll go up to File, select Save As, and then go here to the Format drop-down menu and scroll up to xlworkbook.xlsx, select that, click Save, and we're all set. In the next video, we will examine the spreadsheet.